Top Spotlight, brought to you by Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. Hey everyone, I'm Adam Mayer from both Tabletop News with... Evan from Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. We're back with another Tabletop Spotlight. Evan, you brought a lot of stuff today. It's time to start collecting. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, we have the three new start collecting boxes for Age of Sigmar. Very cool. We have the Fire Flares. Boom. The, uh... Demons of Slanesh. Slanesh. And the Beast Claw Raiders. Beast Claw Raiders. Yeah. Uh, we we have a beast. A lot of this. This is this is really cool. Yeah, I don't I want I don't know if I should say this is my favorite box, but man, you yeah, already have big favorites. stuff. Yeah, I know. we haven't opened these yet, so I've kind of I don't know. We get the magma dropped in here. Yeah. We get the uh, the steeds of slanish on the on the crazy uh, nice chariot here. Yeah, dude. That's chariot's insane. insane. These are all looking like some pretty solid uh, solid options here for starting. Um, man, so that said, yes. We're only gonna open one of these, right? Only because we've seen all the models before. Yeah, like, the models not, aren't. They're new. not new models; they're just repackaging. But they're yeah. all out now, so mm -hmm. you should totally go check them out. Uh, which one are you gonna pick? This one, Beast Claw Raiders. <laughs> We're gonna look at the Beast Claw Raiders, bo Raiders box uh, because we'll, it's there's formations in here yeah. or battalions. We'll, we'll see and stuff like that. Scrolls. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, I'm excited about this, man. Let's do it. Let's, Let's take it. a look inside Beast Claw Raiders. All right, Beast Claw Raiders was chosen to uh, dive in. Yep, it's always like, it's always weird seeing such few models in yeah. such a big box, but that's because they're heavy hitting <laughs> models. <laughs> These models are massive. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's let's do it, man. Um, let's take a look at the back. Yep, flip that one over. Well, this is kind of yeah, this is kind of like the painting guide, but yeah. really, that's what you're getting. Right. You're getting a giant frost lord on a stone horn, which, by the way, stone horns are one of the dirtiest units in the Age of Sigmar, I think. Uh, you get four Morphing Riders, which doesn't sound like a lot, but each one of these guys is like a, a massive tank into himself. Yeah. So it's just... Well, that's pretty much all the Ogres. Yeah. yeah. Ogres. The Ogres, as my friend calls them. Ogres. Ogre. Um, It's got one of those fancy double box things. Oh, interesting. And I don't want to dump out the contents just yet, so... There we go. We'll slide that out. All right. We've got the uh, basics you start collecting. This is literally... How to build everything again. This is the new style instructions, right? So it's got the everything's highlighted and tells you where to put glue and clip things. These are really handy if you've never built models before, and even if you had built models. I love the new colors, so yeah, they're yeah. really well done. Um, there's a quick glance at the uh special um formation you're gonna get the special uh battle. Because start collecting, you do get a special. What are uh, they? Battalions? War scroll battalion? Yeah, battalion. Yeah, that's the battalions, one. Yeah. This is the war scroll, yes. but this is the battalion here. Um, the this one is obviously going to be a frost lord on the stone horn and a morn paint back, just yep. like it's coming in the box. Um, the ability here is frost guard. I'll read this real fast. The frost guard tr traditionally comprises four of the Ostfrun's largest, most fiercest morning riders, one for each leg of their warlord steed, and is and tasked with his protection. <clears throat> At the end of each player's hero phase... Of either players. Of either, yeah, excuse oh, yeah. me. Uh, if the Frost Lord on the Storm Horn has been three inches of any enemy units, this battalion's Mournfang pack, if eligible, can immediately attempt to charge one of those units. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's actually really dirty, because yeah. you get at the beginning of this... Yeah. That's very dirty. Just charge in there. So, really cool stuff. And then, of course, um, you can find all of the rules for each unit, each model, uh, on GW's page. So you can go to the Stone Horn... Uh, on Frost Sword and Starhorn. But also, uh, download it. Yeah. The, there's an app too. And the app, yeah. which I use frequently. Yes. More in Fang Pack. We've seen those before too. Yep. But, mm -hmm. um, the models. I mean, they, we've seen them before. We've seen them before. I just want to point out yep. uh, that you get. Here's all the More Fang. I want to point this out. Uh, these are the full kits. Yep. These are not truncated kits. Here's the, here's the Stonehorn. Yeah. If you want to pull that over to the side here. Sure. Look, at those horns. Horns. Look at the size of the horn. That's why it's the stone horn. Yeah. Um, and we'll go th we'll go through these pretty quickly, but and then you get all the, all four bases, all five bases. Excuse me. Yeah. I'm gonna move this to the side. I just want to lay these out real quick. We'll look at them fairly briefly. I don't feel like we need to spend too much time because again, they're not new models, but um, you get the idea. Yeah. It's better if I do this. Boom. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. You guys get a good look at them at home. I'll get them framed up here. Hang on. <laughs> You're doing great. Don't worry. Yeah. There so we that's go. the first sprue. This is, again, uh, one of the Mornfang. You're going to get uh, enough of these sprues to make four Mornfang. That's actually two Mornfangs. Right. 
And then here's the other two. Well, yeah, well, you want to flip these over as well? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And again, they're hollow, they're plastic. They're the exact same plastics we've seen before. Yeah. Really high quality stuff. High, again, you high guys detail. Can, you can see from the fur how well everything is done. Right. There's one of the other sprues for the Morphang. I mean, look at the detail on the fur. It's super sharp, mm -hmm. super good detail. Their, their plastic injection molding is... Traditional GW, it's very good. Good stuff. Yeah. And then here's the other sprue, which is actually just the flip side of that one. Right. So, um, they're ogres, they're fat, they're beefy. Uh, let's take a look at the stone horn. Stone horn, here you Here's the first one. Jeez, look at the size. <laughs> it's such a cool model, too. Yeah, it's really cool. Uh, what's great about these Beast Claw Raiders, the Star Collection Pack, is that it's it's cheaper. Like, yeah. you get all these things for a discount, um, which is super awesome. It's great. It's a great deal for players. So, there's the look other that. side of that. Yep. Uh, next sprue. Yep. Again, massive, <laughs> massive stone horn. Uh, you get all the cool bits, too. Yeah. There's so much detail and so much flavor for these Beast Claw Raiders, the Ogre kits. Uh, a lot of people don't, maybe not, haven't played uh, played Ogres or mm -hmm. played with them or against them, but if you ever get one of these models and build it and just spend some time looking at it, because there's so much cool stuff on the model. And then we got the last kit. Last kit, last yep. Spruce, excuse me. And there you see the kind of the body and the base and things yeah. like that. Um, I'm, I think we have a Stonehorn here in the studio somewhere. Um, We'll have to show that off maybe later. <laughs> maybe I'll get a game at Age of Sigmar with him. We'll show it yeah, off. Yeah, we'll see. It oh, yeah. actually, no. They're they're being rebased right now. Oh, uh, okay. Got, yeah, yeah. We had them all in square bases, so we're getting them converted over. So nice. I'm pretty excited about that. But, but yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's pretty much everything in the uh, Beast Claw Raiders start collecting box. Again, there's the uh, Fire Slayers box and the Demons of Slanesh. Slanesh, yeah. Start collecting mm -hmm. box. All three boxes, brand new. Go check them out. Um, let's hop out for a really fast recap. So that was the uh, Beast Claw Raiders Star Collecting Box. Again, we're not going to open the other two because we've seen those models yeah. before. Not to discount what's inside of them. Of course, they are discounted. And you can go online and see what's in them. Exactly. So, but they're 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 all really good deals. All of the Star Collecting are always good deals. Speaking of good deals, what's the price point on these? They're each eighty five dollars. Just really like the great. Other ones. Yeah. yeah. And they each come with, again, all the models in the box. Yeah. You get that uh, War Scroll to run them as like a special battalion as well, mm -hmm. uh, which they all have something special that these two we didn't show off, but right. they're in there too. Um, and again, it's the same cool models, same great quality you can kind of expect from Games Workshop. Definitely. So, yeah. Yeah. Go check them out. They're in stores right now. Yes. Um, not much else to say, man. Really not. Yeah. yeah. Go play some Age of Sigmar. I'm Adam here from Bulls. I'm Adam from Dragon Side Comics and Fantasy. And this has been another Tabletop Spotlight. Thanks again for watching. Tabletop Spotlight brought to you by Dragon Slayer Comics and Fantasy. Thanks for watching.